I think gay led storylines are amazing and it's amazing that they're happening and they're getting such uh, big budgets and like a big push behind them mm. but i also just like the sneaky little representation here and there yeah I, I, and we we need we need both right because yeah. we're all the main characters in our own lives right so i know i am so you are um, <laughs> i certainly am so as gay men we want to see that we yeah. want to see some you know call uh, what is it call my name call me by my name call me, name. Uh, call me by your name by your name uh Call me by your name. Not the Re Cheryl Corson. <laughs> call, is that call my when name? When you call my name. <laughs> Not the Cheryl Corson. Um, the Timothy Chalamet and the guy who eats people. Yeah. Not allegedly. Um, Arnie Hammer. Arnie so. Hammer. Uh, call me by your name. Red, white, yeah. and royal blue, gay led stuff. And then yeah. stuff with it, you know, where yeah. it's a side quest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has got my gaming head on. Um, where it's a side storyline or whatever. Yeah. We need a bit of everything. And that's I think that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Um is that we've gone from a place where there was no representation, yeah. underrepresentation, where people were just desperate to be represented by just want to see a gay face on screen. Yeah. And then people see it and they go, Well, that's not my life. That doesn't represent mm. me. And then I think it's taken a long time for people who make tv and film to catch yeah. up and go well there is actually nuance to gay people it's not just yeah. and and that's what's fed into this thing that a lot of gay men have is am i doing gay right mm. because there's this image that's perpetuated whether it's on tv whether it's in the media yeah. whether it's on social media um and people go oh I, i'm not like that i don't yeah and now we're, we're seeing that expanding yeah. with heart stopper with maybe mm. not red white and royal blue that's probably not a good <laughs> example but what are your views on straight actors playing gay roles? I mean, because the both the actors in Red, White, and Royal Blue, we did the classic gay thing. You get your phone out, you go on the personal life section of their Wikipedia page. Both of them are straight, apparently. Yeah, I mean, so spaghetti until you boil it. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't really know. I, I, it's acting. Mm. It's you know is Ian McKellen really a wizard? Do we need to employ wizards to be Gandalf? Um, and I just kind of think, I think if it's something where, if someone has a disability, mm. give the job to someone with a disability, mm. um, you know, or if it's someone who's gone through a particular process, I don't know what that might be, divorce. <laughs> Or something more extreme, like mm. was, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know. The whole point of being an actor is yeah. to pretend. Yeah, it, it's like that extra scene where he's talking about, "I am an actor, and I yeah. get the lines, and I pretend to be the person who's <laughs> saying the lines." That's what acting is. Yeah. So I don't know, because then it's like, because it's got to work both ways. Yeah, you know, and you would so, want gay people to be able to play straight people. What was the one that we watched? Platonic. Yeah, he's gay, and mm -hmm. he played a straight man. Yeah. Married to Rose Byrne. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I can't remember his name. So should he not? Yeah. I can't remember no. his name either. Looks looks good though. Yeah, I follow him on social media, but his name is like 10 minutes longer or something. Literally, it's called 10 minutes something. I'm like, just have your Instagram thing as your name. Uh, okay. So uh, th th there's a series called him. Platonic. There's a series called Platonic. Uh, and that as a, yeah. a, an actor. Who He's also in Single and Single All, all the, way. the Way. Who plays a gay man in that. He plays a gay man in but that. He and he is gay. But he plays a straight man in that. So well, should think, he not get that yeah. gig? I, I, don't, I feel like. I think it's acting. And I agree. I think that, you know, it doesn't really matter. But. I do think it's a nice touch when, for example, It's a Sin that we spoke about, which was a story about the gay uh, HIV epidemics starting in New York and then coming to London. I'm pretty certain that it was like most of the cast, if not all the cast, identified as queer in some way, and they mm. refused to cast anyone who was straight. Yeah. And I thought that was a nice touch for a story that was so close to the gay community. Yeah. However... Oh, yeah. I'm not offended when a straight man plays a gay man, but I did enjoy the fact that everyone in It's a Sin yeah. was queer. 